Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1969 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the California Angels at Anaheim Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is John Gelnar, whose record is 7-1 with a 3.43 ERA. And pitching for the Angels is Rudy May, whose record is 2-5 with a 5.58 ERA. Well, we have won two in a row, as we should. We are playing the worst team in the American League. Um, but we're doing it in different ways. We won 11-9 in a late-inning slugfest uh, two games ago in Game 1. And then yesterday we won one to nothing on a stellar pitching performance from Bob Meyer. I mean, the one guy that I think is the most unreliable pitcher on our staff uh, came through through eight innings of uh, scoreless work, and we won the ball game one nothing as Marshall Mike Marshall got the sh uh, save. So, um, and our fifteenth shutout of the season, uh, which is amazing. Uh, so we move on to game three of the three game series as we send John Gelnar out to face Rudy May, another left-handed pitcher. So let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do have a couple of videos coming up uh, this next week that I want to talk about. First and foremost, tomorrow we have the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay American League West preview video. Uh, that video will be out later uh, tomorrow evening. It's going to be a late release, I believe. And then next week, uh, I'll be having two videos uh, for some uh, cards that I picked up uh, this week, including a 1987 Topps uh, Rack Pack opening. I actually have three Rack Packs that I bought, and we're going to be looking for the Barry Bonds rookie card in there, which will be a lot of fun. So that's coming up next week. And then I picked up a... Um, uh, a, a lot of hockey cards that I'll be showing uh, for our I Got This series, uh, which, will, which will take place probably toward the end of next week. I don't think it's even shipped yet. Uh, so a bunch of good videos coming up this week as we continue the 1969 Seattle Pilots series. John Gelnar, 7-1 on the year. What a great job he has been doing. Um, and our bullpen is totally healthy. Okay, let's take a look at our lineup. Another left-hander. Unfortunately, Freddie Potek was listed as tired. We're going to take him out of the game. He's got a 12-game hitting streak going on. He's our hottest hitter, and yet we have to give him a break. So Don Kessinger will play shortstop today, and then Kelly gets another start uh, at a third base. And he's a left-hander, so that's probably not going to be very good for him offensively today. Otherwise, it's our standard lineup versus left-handers. Let's do the official lineup rundown for the Seattle Pilots. Batting leadoff playing second base is Gary Sutherland. There we go. Batting second in left field is Lou Pinella. Batting third at first base is Darren Johnson. Batting cleanup in right field is Tommy Agee. Batting fifth in center field is Don Bosch. Batting sixth and catching today is Jerry May. Batting seventh at third base is Van Kelly. Batting eighth at shortstop is Don Kessinger. And batting ninth is the pitcher, John Gelnar. Okay, let's take a look at Rudy May. He is making his 10th start. Called into duty thanks to uh, injuries to the Starting staff, he's 2-5 and five with a 5.58 ERA, 59 strikeouts and 61 in the third innings pitch. He's given up 11 home runs. Opponents are batting 261 against him, no complete games. Uh, his fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour, but it's rated at 94. So a pretty solid pitch, kind of a one-pitch pitcher. Overall rating is an 85, the 25-year-old lefty. Goes to arbitration in 1970. Uh, we have faced him before. Let's look at his log. 
That'll tell you all you need to know. We faced him back on June 15th, where he got the win. He went eight innings, giving up two runs on nine hits. The only game in which he did not give up a home run this year, and he has lost four in a row since then. So let's see if we can do some damage against Rudy May today. There's the defense for the Angels. Second base is a real issue. It's the Winston Yelanis out there at second base again. Everywhere else is pretty damn solid. So, Okay, let's go ahead and get the game started. Here is Gary Sutherland leading off versus Rudy May. Sutherland hits it deep to left center field. Is it off the wall? No, it's going to be caught at the fence. 382 feet. He does hit lefties pretty well. So does Lou Pinella. And I guess I want to ask this question out there to you, anyone who plays this game. Uh, and I know it must vary from, you know, person to person. But, like, I have my two best hitters versus left-handers at the top of my lineup. Um, and then we get really sketchy here at the bottom. Uh, I mean, do you would you stack your hitters uh, at the top of the lineup? Do you think it's a good strategy? I, I mean, I think, like, you want them to have as many at bats as possible if they have a history of hitting well versus uh, the, your opponent as uh, Pinella grounds out to second. So both of them are down already and Darren Johnson up. He's a 257 hitter. So he doesn't qualify but he does have some pop. And he'll take a walk. So Johnson on first with two down and Tommy Ag at the plate. A.G. looking for his 20th home run on the season. Will he get to 20 before anyone else gets to 10? He grounds out to second, and we go to the bottom of the first. Okay, let's take a look at the lineup rundown for the Angels. Batting leadoff, playing center field, is Tom Silverio. Batting second in right field is Jay Johnstone. Batting third at second base is Winston Yelanis. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Doug Howard. Batting fifth in left field is Bill Voss. Batting sixth in catching is Randy Brown. Batting seventh at third base is Bill Bethea. Batting eighth at shortstop is Marty Perez. And batting ninth is the pitcher Rudy May. Okay, let's take a look here at John Gelnar making his 11 start, 7-1 with a 343 ERA, 45 strikeouts and 60 and a third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 268, no complete games. Fastball tops out at 91 miles an hour, and he is a true one-pitch pitcher. Fastball rated in 85, curveball in his arsenal, but not effective. Overall, only a 76. The 26-year-old righty is arbitration eligible in 1971. I believe he's coming off his worst start, arguably. I uh, gave up five runs in five innings to the White Sox, 11 hits. He did strike out five, only walked one. He hit a batter. Uh, so not a very good performance from Gelnar. He's only at 60 and a third innings pitched. So while he has exceeded any of his other seasons in innings pitched, I don't think he's reached the... Um, threshold yet where we don't trust him but he did not pitch well last time out so we'll see how he does today let's take a look at our defense well first and second again a liability but we do have Rudy May behind the not Rudy May Jerry May behind the plate uh, he is superior to McNurtney defensively although they do share the same caught stealing percentage which is at 40 percent so let's see how we do here is Tom Silverio leading off. First pitch swinging right out of the gate with a base hit to center. Gelnar, as we said, gave up double-digit hits last time out. And Silverio starts off the game with a single. Will he be going with Jerry May behind the plate? Here's Jay Johnstone. Base hit to right. Crap. We are in trouble. We really need this victory. And I... I Maybe I'm going to regret not playing um, Patek, but uh, we're going to play back. We'll give up a run. We have to think that we're with the number five pitcher 
uh, in the rotation for the Angels. We're going to score some runs, so we may have to sacrifice uh, Silverio for an opportunity here at a double play. Here we go. One, two count, and he strikes out. Well, now we will play back and try to get a double play to get out of the inning. <clears throat> and in fact, I think what we're going to do is we'll, we'll pull uh, third base in. I know the cleanup hitter is not going to lay down a bunt, but maybe we can uh, psych him out. <laughs> Which is, I don't think is a thing. But that's my that's my strategy. 1-0 count to Doug Howard. Fly ball. Is that going to fall in? It does. There's hit number three. John Stone will go to third, and now we will pull the infield in. We gave up the one run. We cannot, cannot give up another one. But clearly, Gelnar is not looking good so far. Here's Bill Voss getting a spot start today, and he goes deep. So this game is done. That's all we can manage for today. Gelnar, I guess maybe he has another base hit. Five hits here in the first. If you have that on your bingo card, five hits in an inning, you can check that one off. And a comebacker to the pitcher. For out number two, they get the lead runner, forced at second. And Perez is a ground out. So it's 4 nothing. Five hits given up. And uh, we go to the top of the second inning. Don Bosch leading off. We've got some work to do. I mean, I still think we could score four runs. But when your opponent gets four runs off of your pitcher with the best ERA on the team in the first inning, there's a reason for that. And we did shut them out yesterday, so maybe this is their revenge. Yeah, this is, I mean, our bottom four hitters, not including our pitcher, is pretty horrible. Yeah, so a one, two, three inning. We have yet to get a hit against Rudy May, who leads off the inning. The pitcher hits a ground ball to third. One out. Back to the top of the lineup already with Silverio. Only 23 pitches, but we're through the lineup already. Strikes out for out number two. Strikeout number two. And Jay Johnstone, is it an error? Come on. Nope. The catcher may makes the play. To the top of the third, here's Kessinger. Leading off, then Gelnar. Another one into the dirt. Yeah. I mean, Rudy May is going to throw a no-hitter. And he's the fifth starter on the worst team in the American League. Bottom of the third. Gelnar walks as the leadoff guy. That's always a bad start. And another hit. Okay, we're just going to take him out. I mean... Oh! Wait, did AG throw him out? Another outfield assist from AG, who is a horrible defensive player. And yet... That is his second in right field. Um, and yeah, and his sixth overall. And he is a 65 fielding and a below average arm. He just has good range. I mean, again, the ratings don't matter because that, that shouldn't happen. It should be good defensive players that throw people out, but the game doesn't allow them to even try to run for another base. So uh, you don't get good players throwing anybody out, ever. Well, maybe a double play will get out of it. Yeah, there we go. So we'll get another inning for Gelnar. I mean, he did bad already, after all. Here's Pinella. Yeah, we're, we're actually going to get shut out and probably no hit. Oh, wait, did Johnson get all of it? Oh, he did! Oh, man. Johnson, he is the second player. Oh, wait, no, he's only got nine home runs on our team. He had one for the Phils. So he is not the next player to get double digits. Uh, but I'm happy he hit home run, at least. We won't be shut out. We won't be no hit. 
Maybe that'll break it open. Oh, AG! Oh, back to back, a double dong! Holy cow, AG with his 20th home run of the season. And he's a 2020 guy. That's, a, that's great. Good job by him. Well, Rudy Bay does give up a lot of home runs. Can we go back to back to back, Jax? Don Bosch. No, he doesn't take the bat off his shoulder. Two down. Here's Jerry May. Batting 300. His average has definitely gone down since we picked him up. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Um, man, I almost feel like we need to pull Gelnar out of there now before he gives up any more runs. But maybe he's... Maybe those four in the first were all he was going to give up. There we go. Third strikeout. Striking out Randy Brown. One down. Here is Bill Bethea. Hard shot to third. Right at the hot corner. Good play by Van Kelly. Two down. And Marty Party Perez popping it up into shallow center. Catch is made by the shortstop. Kessinger backpedaling, making the play. We're going to the top of the fifth inning. Here is Van Kelly leading off. Gelnar does come up in this inning, so we might have to think about pinch hitting if we can get some guys on. Not Kelly. I expected nothing from Kelly today as he flies out to right. Don Kessinger. Batting 185 versus lefties. Striking out. Well, we may as well let Gelnar bat. And the ground ball to short. So a nice bounce back inning there for Rudy May. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Rudy May leading off. Let's watch him walk him here. Well, one, two count. Ground ball to third. Oh, man, I felt like the error was going to pop up. Good play, though, as he's thrown out at first by Van Kelly. And now the lefties are coming up with uh, Silverio here, followed by John Stone. Popping up the short. And John Stone, full count, base hit to right. Will there be a two-out rally? John Stone on first. I can't imagine he's going to be running here. Full count. And he walks. Doug Howard. Ground ball to second. That will do it. So, at least Gelnar was able to give us five innings. And we have the top of the lineup coming up here. So... Let's get a couple runs here and get them off the hook. Sutherland leading off. Fly ball to left. Come on. It's a 383 hitter versus lefties. He can't get a hit off this guy. Here's Pinella. He's a 348 hitter. And he'll well, nope. He waited on it and give it gave it a jolt, but it was a 3-0 count. Probably should have taken a ball four. And Darren Johnson, he had a home run in his last at-bat. And he strikes out looking, so. No hope there. Um, we're going to take Gelnar out. His average uh, ERA uh, jumps up from 340, what was it? 343 to 372. So it's, not, I mean, these last two starts, it's gone nowhere but up. We'll bring Ron Locke in. Locke gets lefties pretty easily here. Voss slices it to left field. Play made by Pinella. One down. Here is downtown Randy Brown. Back-to-back -back lefties. Ground ball to second. Sutherland making the play. Okay, two down. Here is the third baseman, Bill Bethea. Bethea had never faced Locke before. And he gets a base hit off of him. 
Yeah, for whatever reason, Locke crushes lefties, and then righties are a real challenge. We're going to guard the lines here. We cannot afford to give up an, a run here on the extra base hit. Perez popping it up on the infield. That should be an easy play for Kessinger. It is. We go to the seventh. They're going to bring in a defensive replacement. Bobby Canoop will come in and play second instead of Winston Yelenis. It's funny that um, I guess Yelenis has taken over the everyday job from Canoop. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, he's got almost 300 at bats now. Okay, um, so we're down two. Top of the seventh inning. We really need a rally here. Here's AG. He hit his 20th home run. He strikes out 5Ks from May. Full count to Bosch. Ground ball. So, I mean, those were our two hits. We only have two hits. They're both home runs. So, uh, we are not going to get a rally here. We go to the bottom of the seventh. And with three lefties up, we'll just leave Locke in there. He can give us another. Ruby May somehow making contact on that screwball. We worked the count, though. Seven pitches. One down. Here is Tom Silverio striking out. Two down. Jay Johnstone batting 160 versus lefties. And he strikes him out, too. Good job with that screwball. Top of the eighth inning. Rudy May still in there. Rudy May, we saw it, does not have a complete game this year. But it looks like he's going to get it today. Striking out Kelly right on the wrists. Six strikeouts. Don Kessinger popping it up. And, of course, we'll pinch hit for Locke. We have all of our good hitters in the ballgame. Um, so, I guess we go to Bill Robinson here. Coming off the bench. Looking to go deep. Oh, God, he strikes out. 7K from, from me. Damn it, we're going to lose this ballgame. This is a game we should have won, hands down. All right, um, eighth inning. I think we go to Skippy. Um, and if we're still losing after this inning, I think we go to, like, one of the two dicks. Skippy into the ball game. Here's Bobby Canoop leading off. First at bat, came in as a defensive replacement, and he gets a base hit because, of course, Doug Howard strikes out. Something that Lockwood does very well. Strikes out a lot of guys. Oh, it's the old walk strikeout combo. Nope. Voss crushes it to right. Unfortunately for him, it was right in the area of uh, AG out there. Two down and Randy Brown. Hey, a wild pitch that moved a guy from first to second. I mean, that, that definitely means that run's going to score. Uh, so we're going to intentionally walk Randy Brown here to get to another right-hander. It's Bill Bethea. Bethea is batting 210. Will he just crush it? Yep. So, I mean, there was no way we were going to be able to stop that. Oh, he doesn't score! How do you not score from second on a base hit up the middle with two outs? That's so stupid. Here's Marty Party. Fly ball to left. I think we're going to get out of it. So the only question left is, that are they going to give us a junk run here in the ninth? I, we're not going to tie it up. Even with our two best hitters versus left-handers. They've both been shut down today. Both 0 for 3. Our only two hits are home runs. Let's see what happens. Rudy May at the century mark. Base hit to left. Nope. Oh, this is a perfect hit and run situation. 
Let's see if Lou can put it in play. We need two runs. We don't need one. By the way, Pinella has not had a double in forever, which is so frustrating because he's got that 93 gap power, and he came out of the gates with all those doubles, and he hasn't had one in forever. In fact, how long? Did we already do this? I can't remember. Yeah. I mean, he just was just crushing doubles, and he hasn't had a double in like 15 games or something. Or, or an extra base hit at all, right? Oh, he had the one home run. There's a home... Yeah. So he went through this period where he had all these extra base hits. And he's had one. And his average has fallen a little bit. Well, that was useless. As we have uh, Sutherland in scoring position, we have our two big power hitters coming up. And a base hit up the middle. So they do give us one run. Um, I guess that's something. But these are, that was, we already know how this goes, right? This will probably be a double play to end the game. That's a pop-up. So we're going to rely on Bosch with two outs. They gave us the one junk run. Full count, and they walk him. Rudy May officially tired. Oh, they're going to take him out. That's a smart decision. Well, now we can go to the left-handed bats. Oh, um, let's see here. Well, now Hegan's got more home runs, but I think Pepitone's the better hitter. Hegan does walk a lot, though, so he might be able to... Well, it's not going to help us. We need a hit. But he might be able to get on base. And he's rated in 82, so he's a higher rated guy. The ratings don't mean anything, but we're going to go with that theory. So Mike Hegan into the ballgame, batting 243 versus right-handers. 379 on base percentage. Is capable of going deep. Two outs. Here's the ball game. Yep, he struck out. No, he goes to left field. Get down. Oh, it does get down. Come on, Bosch. Oh, Bosch. Oh, he holds it third. It is a double and a run scores. And the game is tied. Gelnar off the hook. As someone named Julio L. commented on something. Thanks, Julio. I'll have to read that later. Um, all right. That's his 11th double, and the game is tied. And Van Kelly's a left-handed bat, so... Although he's not great, this is the guy you'd want up, I would think. And he is clutch. Like we've said it before, he has been clutch. Second and third, two down. Here's Van Kelly. Game on the line. Oh, one count. Yeah, base hit to right field. That'll score two. And it is six to four, a four run ninth inning. And uh, wow, we may have just snatched this right out of the jaws of defeat. We still got to get through the bottom of the ninth inning, so let's not counter chickens. Uh, here is Don Kessinger. 0 for 3 today. Keep it going. Nah, he flies out to right center field. We really need this win. Uh, let's take a look at our defense here. We've got to move some peeps around. Uh, so, Hegan will go to first. Darren Johnson will come out. And we'll bring in McNertney uh, to catch. And we are fine otherwise. Right? Okay. Now we need a pitcher. What happened here? Something happened. Oh, uh, Roger Repos is pinch hitting. Batting 212. That does not scare me. Well, we got three lefties in a row. Do we bring in... We have to bring in John Morris to get a save opportunity here. Um, and lefties do hit him, right? Splits. Um, yeah, they bat him 286 against him. And he walks a ton of them, too. But... I know we bring in... You should bring in Marshall, but Marshall's got saves in the first two games. 
Uh, he is healthy and ready to go, but I think we got to play the odds. We got a better defense in there, and we just have to keep our fingers crossed that Morris doesn't uh, poop the mound. Here we go, two-two count to repose. Oops, sorry, move the uh, cursor too far over. He flies out to center field. We'll take that one down. Tom Silverio bets two sixteen versus lefties. O2 oh, count, get him! Oh, craptacular! A base hit to center field. Shit. All right. Runner on first. He's not going to be running, right? He can't be running. That's stupid. They need two runs, lefty on lefty. So it looks like, unless this is a double play, which would be hard to do, Marshall's going to get into the game right after this. 1-1 one, one count. And a base hit to center field. So yeah, lefty's just absolutely pummel him. All right. So Mike Marshall into the game. We're going to use him three days in a row in save situations. Bobby Knoop up. All right. I mean, there's nothing to do here but push a button. So we're going to do that. Bobby Knoop. 2-0 count. Crap. Oh, a comebacker to Marshall! They get the force at second. Silverio goes to third. Um, that run doesn't mean anything, but we are going to guard the lines because Bobby Knoop at first is the time run. Doug Howard's up. He is a tough hitter. Batting 296 versus righties. He could walk it off with one swing of the bat. Full count! Fly ball to center field. That should do it if Bosch can close his bit. Yes! Great comeback victory for the Pilots as we win 6-4. to four. Handshakes, butt slaps, sloppy stakes. Wow. I thought that game was over in the first. They did not score another run. And we win three in a row. Let's take a look at the standings. We're still seven and a half back. Everybody won. What can you do? We'll take a look at the National League. San Diego still only has 30 wins. They've lost 92. This could be a record loss season. Um, I mean, we might actually have contestants that are almost ready to be eliminated. It shows 69 wins. So that means they need 39 more. And there is, we're at game 122. And there's 40 to go. So Dave's almost eliminated from the contest. Thanks to... Um, San Diego's ineptness. Let's take a look at the headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Memorial Stadium hosts Cuellar's 4-0 shutout. He pitched well for nine innings, allowing no runs, five hits, and no walks. Jim Campbell, who's their first baseman now, uh, went two for four. And Frank Robinson went one for two with a couple of walks. Oakland Coliseum hosts uh, Catfish Hunters. 3 nothing shutout. Nothing but shutouts going on. Uh, nothing to see here. Okay. Transactions. Let's see what we got. Oh, nothing. Nope. Oh, wait. Nope. Nothing. Nothing's happened for two days. That's ridiculous. Okay. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that tomorrow we have the 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. America League West preview. Um, that should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. There's only one team in 1984 whose logo changed. And uh, I'm not going to tell you who that is. It's going to be a surprise. It won't be tomorrow. It is a National League team. I guess I'll give you that hint. Player of the game. Wow. Uh, do we give it to Darren Johnson or Van Kelly? Yeah, we have to give it to Van Kelly, right? Because he won the ball game. So Van Kelly is the player of the game. Um, congrats to uh, Darren Johnson and Tommy Agee going back-to-back. -back. Jack Skip Lockwood gets the win. He goes to 3-0. and Mike Marshall has saved three consecutive games in this series. The loss goes to Rudy May. As always, they managed to pitch him way longer than he should go. 
and Tom Murphy comes in and doesn't help out at all. So that's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with uh, the fourth game of the series and the Detroit Tigers American League West preview. So until then, everyone, have a great day.